No, sorry for not making videos for a while. I was working a lot, and my business closed down due to the economy, due to the pet store. Not many people buy pets. This is the new gecko aquarium that I made. The light up there, it's just an LED. Um, needs a lot more done. We'll open up this screen. But I have logs, put some smart pots in there for the plants. It's a one pathless plant, a ground cover that hopefully going to do good. There's actually a gecko in here right now. She's hard to find. That was going to be a pond, but it looks crappy now, as you see. Hopefully I can turn that around, make another video, see something different. Um, this is a substrate. It's not very deep, as you can see here. But those pots add a deeper substrate. I got isopods in here. Those little white things you see is actually bird poop, but that's a fertilizer for the plants that are going to go in. And then these are the geckos that are going to go in here eventually. This was the original cage. As you see, it's kind of dirty now um, due to there's so many geckos. Um, let's see if we can find one. Um, no. Let's see. I kind of hide everywhere. Well, there's one far back there in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. It's in the far right middle almost. Let's see if we can find another one. Um, ignore that. It's a morning gecko, not moaning. As you can see, they're hard to find. Especially with this spider web and the water deposits on the surface. Um, here's an egg that hasn't hatched, but it's not going to hatch. It was the first egg she laid. Um, it's gone. It's going to recycle. This was uh, another cage I made for them, but I decided to use it for something different. Still growing out and stuff. Has water deposits I need to clean off, but that's the pathless plant that I use. Some coil eggs in there for calcium and other things. Uh, mostly for these guys, which these are the micro white isopods. Um, I also have orange ones in here, but I don't know if you can see them. Um, but this is for, as you see, there's a male ghost mantis right there. I don't know if we can focus on them. Uh, yep, there we go. Ghost mantis. We'll go to the female. She should be right up here. Yeah, there she is. Let's see if we can get a good focus on her. And that's my female. She's looking for food. I heard the geckos. Oh, here they are. There's one moving somewhere. Ah, uh, focus. It's not focusing for me. There's a part of the gecko. Can't really see her. Um, I'm looking for myself for one. Um, kind of hide. Hide very well. Eh. Anyways. And then this is my micro isopod still. Well, it's not really a still, but this is where I kind of grow. This is a, there's another roach and type of roach I grow in here too. Come on, camera. Oh, can't show you too much. Some tarantulas. It's shedding. There's one there. Um, this is some other food that I have over here. I, like ignore the mess cleaning this up right now. I have my time off. Can't see them. Those are ladderous. Ah! And uh, I think that's it for the geckos. I'll show you my centipedes, some tarantulas, some lizards and other lizards and stuff and snakes and everything later on. We're gonna go out in my backyard now.